Hello there! I'm here to show you why tire ground is a great benefit to each tire from structure. So here is Kostya and the video why the tire ground. Let's do this! And starting we of course from the definition. Tire ground is the wrapper over the tire form, which provides the additional functionality. It means when you're running the tire ground, it's in the ground still running the same tire form, but before generate the configuration and running with specific options. To understand more these options, let's go on a way to review the problems what we can have on the tire form. The first problem is tire form supporting only the static backend configuration. For example, we have the production environment. And we are using for this environment the same S3 for the storing states and the same DynamoDB table for the logs. So our problem is that we need to duplicate this information for each application, because we are not able to use the variables instead of backend values. This situation can make a lot of discomfort, because not only duplication stuff we have to maintain, we also need to be sure that each application has unique backend K for the state file, because on situation when Ks are same, they can override each other. And this problem is actually can be resolved by the tire ground. You can create one global configuration file, where you actually specify your backend data, like bucket or DynamoDB table. Like the case you can specify the function, which will automatically search the folder where your resources is stored, and based on this value dynamically generate the key pass. It's a pretty cool feature, because you don't need to worry about the backend configuration at all. You can create it only once, and start to use it for all models. If you want to know more about it, let's write the comment to this video, and I will prepare the next part with the practical implementation of the tire ground. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, do not miss it. The second problem which Terraform cannot resolve yet, is including the variables by the default. For example, you have the variables file, which you want to use for a few models. You can include them when you're running the Terraform, but it will require you to always include this option on the command line. The tire ground resolving this issue on the same way like with backend. You can put this option to your configuration and always include your variables file. Like on our case, we are importing the environment tf vars file. Great. The next problem is not so critical, but sometimes it can save a lot of time on recovery. The problem is that you cannot apply your resources via one command. You need to implement them separately. Like on our example, you will require an action on each application. On case of the tire ground, we can use the global implement command, which one recursively will have a look on each folder and implement resources there. It will give you a better time performance. And the last global benefit from the tire ground is customization of your scripts. And again, go to the example. Imagine that you need to provide some additional actions before you're running the tire form, or do some cleanup actions after. By the default, tire form is not supported such activity. But the tire ground will allow you to use hooks on such case. They will give you the possibility to run some extra commands, where we end before and after the plan and apply command, we are printing some custom text. Ok, awesome, we have reviewed the main of them. So now you get why the tire ground is the great tool, and maybe even will try to implement it on your setup. So here was Kostya for you. See ya!